Good morning everybody and welcome to Kids Church at Home. We hope you've had a good week and we hope you're up for another fun packed morning. We've got some surprises for you and here's our first surprise. For our chant today I'm really happy to be able to say over to you boys. Kids church, we are here for kids church. Welcome everybody, welcome everybody. It's so good to see you, it's so good to see you. We are here for kids mm -hmm. church, we are here for kids church. We are here for Jesus, we are here for Jesus. We want to hear him speaking, we want to hear him speaking. We want to see him moving, we want to see him moving through the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. Who wants some fun? We all want some fun. Who wants to learn? We all want to learn. Who wants to grow? We all want to grow. Let's get started. Let's get started. Hey. This morning we're going to be thinking about waiting. And we have a story later on that tells us of some of Jesus' friends who were having to wait. But first of all, we're going to play a game, okay? I'm going to suggest a few ideas of things that we might have to wait for. If you find it easy to wait for those things, thumbs up. If you find it really hard to wait for those things, thumbs down. And if you're not sure, or it's a bit of both in the middle. So, let's see what your thumbs do. Here's the first thing. Who likes having a birthday? But is it easy or hard to wait for your birthday? Easy, hard, or somewhere in the middle? I wonder what your thumbs are showing. Here's the next thing. What about Christmas? Thumbs up if you enjoy Christmas. Oh, it's fun, isn't it? But is it easy or hard to wait for Christmas? Because sometimes it feels like Christmas is never going to come. If it's easy to wait for Christmas, thumbs up. If it's hard, thumbs down. Hmm, I wonder what you're thinking. Here's the next one. You've got to finish doing something before you can go out to play. It may be some schoolwork. It may be that your mum or dad has asked you to do a job and you really want to play. Is it easy to get the job done and wait? Is it hard? Or is it somewhere in the middle? Okay, now some of us are thinking about going back to school at some stage, we don't quite know when or how, or going back to nursery. Is that easy to wait for? Hard? Or somewhere in the middle? Here's the last one. At the moment, we're having to do a lot of staying at home, aren't we? And sometimes we can only see our family and friends using our phones, especially if we live a long way from them. Is it easy or hard to wait to see our family and friends again? What do you think? Easy, somewhere in the middle, or hard? I find that one really, really hard. But one day we'll be able to see our family and friends again, won't we? Mike's going to tell us the next part of our story now. If you remember, last week we talked about Jesus going back up into heaven. And he told his friends to 
wait. Here's the next part of the story. Are you good at waiting? I'm not. I like to be doing things, going places, seeing, seeing people, on the go. Anyway, I ought to introduce myself. My name is James. I'm one of the Lord's friends. My brother's called John. We were, we were fishermen before we met Jesus. Not with a net like this, though. We had great big nets to catch our fish with. Well, one day, I'll never forget it, we were mending our nets um, when Jesus called us to follow him. And that's what we did for three years. Miracles. Yes. We saw him calm the sea, feed 5,000 people. We were there when he turned water into wine. We listened to him teach. And when we didn't understand, we asked him, we asked him questions. There's so much I could tell you about that time with Jesus. But everything's different now. Everything's changed in a few weeks. Jesus was arrested. He was crucified, buried in a tomb. But then he came alive again. Now I know that's difficult to believe, and I found it hard at first, but I really know he's alive. We saw him several times. We ate with him, we talked with him, and he had some important things to say to us. But then, just a few days ago, an incredible thing happened. One moment he was talking with us, and then he went up into the sky. Well, we looked and until the clouds hid him from our view and he was gone. We just kept looking up. Then two men, or were they angels, in shining white, spoke to us. And they said that he'd gone into heaven and that one day he would come back again. So, what do we do now? That's what we were ask, asking ourselves. And then we remembered what Jesus had been saying to us just before he left. Don't leave Jerusalem, he said. Wait for the gift that my father promised, which I have been telling you about. Remember John the Baptist baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So that's what we're doing, waiting. We're in Jerusalem and we're waiting. Not just the disciples. Mary, Jesus' mother, is with us and his brothers and lots of the women who followed Jesus. We're all waiting and praying, waiting. To be honest, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. A gift? the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit, but I know it will be good. Jesus always keeps his promises, so we're trusting and waiting for him. Hello everybody, our memory verse today comes from Acts chapter 1 verse 4 and it says, do not leave Jerusalem but wait for the gift my father has promised, which you have heard me speak about. Let's say it again. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift that my father has promised, which you have heard me speak about. So we're going to sing it because that's how I like to learn things. <laughs>
not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father has promised, which you have heard me speak about in Acts chapter 1 verse 4. hard isn't it but sometimes we just have to wait with God. Hello everybody it's lovely to be asked to do something for kids church again at home. In the memory verse this week the disciples were told not to leave Jerusalem but to wait for the gift that was promised. We're in a situation like this at the moment we have been told to stay in and stay safe. It's not easy, is it? Some of us might be finding it a little bit hard to see the bigger picture. We want to go out to school, we want to go to church, we want to go see our friends, we want to go and see our grandparents. It's not nice missing all those people that we care so very much about, is it? Anyhow, I've made a little activity that shows how life is now and also how it would have been for the disciples staying in and also what it would have been like for them when they come out after they've received the gift and what it will be like for us when we leave and can go out and visit our family and friends again. So, all you need to start with is a piece of plain paper and some crayons. Pencils, crayons, felt tips, any of them. And here's one I made earlier. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold that piece of paper into thirds. You might want to get mum or dad to help you do this, but it's got to be quite precise. Okay, so you end up with a small rectangle instead of a big one. So it ends up looking like that. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to fold, so you, you've turned it round now, like this, and you're going to fold it like that into the middle. So on the other side, fold it in half towards the back into the middle. So what you end up with is this, okay? And it opens up to make the bigger picture, okay? So this is one that I've made. And I've put a family on the front of it. Mum, Dad and the two children. Now we've all been in for a long time now, haven't we? But when we are allowed out, this is what I would like to see. I would like to see Mum and Dad, see my friends and I know that my grandson and my granddaughter would like to see their friends. I mean, you don't have to do that. You can start off with just you and your family on the front. And inside, it could be you're missing football. It could be a football pitch with you and your friends playing football. It could be going to ballet lessons. It could be swimming. It could be horse riding. It could be going to kids' church on a Sunday. But what it is, is what we've got now and how we're waiting in, just like the disciples did, and what, what the bigger picture is, what we've got waiting for us when we can go out. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy making it. Bye-bye for now. Hello again, everyone. We are in our garden today. Hope you've been enjoying some fresh air too. So, as we all know, waiting can be hard, especially if we don't know why we're waiting or when something's going to happen, like the people in today's story. Sometimes Jesus makes promises that we have to wait for. And at the moment, we're all waiting for the time when we can go back to seeing our friends and family that we haven't been able to see for a long while. We have to learn how to wait patiently for God. We're going to say a short prayer together 
and there are some actions to go with it. See if you can say it with us. First Rose will say each line and then you repeat it afterwards with me and the actions. Okay. Father God. Father God. When I touch my head, I think of you. When I touch my head, I think of you. When I put my hand on my heart, I remember you love me. When I put my hand on my heart, I remember you love me. When I put my hands together, I ask you to come and make everything all right. When I put my hands together, I ask you to come and make everything all right. When I touch my mouth, I thank you for our food and drink. When I touch my mouth, I thank you for our food and drink. When I open my hands, I say sorry for the things I've done wrong. When I open my hands, I say sorry for the things I've done wrong. When I open my arms, I ask you to help me to be patient when I have to wait for a long time. When I open my arms, I ask you to help me to be patient when I have to wait for a long time. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you to everybody who's helped us with today's Kids Church. There are some things that you can try. Why don't you have a go at Jenny's picture? That would be a really fun thing to do. And you could make your own version of the waiting game. Come up with some ideas of your own. We're going to finish today with a song, My Lighthouse, and it talks about Jesus being there for us in the difficult places, like waiting, like wondering what's going to happen next. Hope you enjoy it. It's got lots of actions to join in. Until next week, take care. Bye.